great pleasure to uh, ask you to welcome Mayor John Teckenberg for his first address. Thank you very much. Forty years of Spoleto. So uh, this dates me a little bit, but I remember in 1977, my dad, being the good corporate citizen that he was, uh, was a sponsor of Spoleto through his company. And I remember they gave two tickets to every Spoleto event to the sponsors at that level, I guess. And so I came home and uh, uh, on the sideboard in the dining room were all the tickets laid out for every single Spoleto event for the whole festival. And I was like a little kid in the candy store, you know. I'm a, uh, I was a chemistry major, but I loved music and played the piano and, and just every day deciding what event we were gonna go to. Um, it, it was just terrific. Um, finally, as we celebrate 40th anniversary of Spoleto Festival USA, I'd like to pay tribute to two towering figures in the life and days of this magnificent festival in the incomparable city that it calls home. And that's Maestro Giancarlo Minotti and Mayor Joseph P. Riley. President John Kennedy, a man who thought deeply and well about the grand sweep of human history and culture, once observed that there is a connection hard to explain logically but easy to feel between achievement in public life and progress in the arts. The age of Pericles was also the age of Phidias. The age of the Medicis was also the age of Leonardo. The age of Elizabeth was also the age of Shakespeare. Here in Charleston, we understand in our bones the truth of those words, for we have seen that connection with our own eyes. We know firsthand that the age of Riley was also the age of Bonatti and Spoleto. And, and we, we know that our city's great flowering of arts and culture, of civic pride and progress, in short, our modern renaissance could never have happened without them. They are two, two of the great men of Spoleto history. I would add Nigel Redden to the list of many others. The indispensable figures in the festival's unflinching, unyielding quest for excellence in all things, and it is our honor to pay tribute to their extraordinary achievements here today. Excellence in all things, it's quite a phrase. This impressively ambitious festival is nothing less than a call, a great call to excellence for our city and our citizens, and a welcome annual reminder of who we are as a people. After all, it would be tempting for a city as beautiful and blessed as, as ours to fall into a kind of cozy complacency, to trade the sweat and striving for the hard won best for the ease and comfort of the agreeably adequate. Yes, that would be tempting for a city like Charleston, but the forceful example of this festival and its remarkable artists simply will not allow it. Every year we are exposed to greatness and every year we are inspired and transformed by the experience as the human spirit is uplifted. And if that were the full story of this festival and the city it calls home, surely that would be enough. But more than enough. But of course, that isn't the whole story. There's something else here too. Something we perhaps don't mention as often as we should. And that something is simple human joy, which is suddenly all around us at Spoleto Festival time. Joy is there in the hearts of the artists as a lifetime of effort enables them to turn talent into truth and truth into beauty. 
Joy is there in the faces of the audiences as they follow the artist's vision wherever it may lead. From the confirmation of the classic to the shock of the new. And joy is there in the spirit of the young man and woman who's about to take the A train from Brooklyn to Sugar Hill for the very first time and whose life will never be the same by the journey. She sang beyond the genius of the sea, the poet Wallace Stevens once wrote, in trying to capture the beauty of a young woman's song as she walked along the shore and the powerful feelings he experienced as he watched her perform. For the next 17 days, it will be our privilege to witness such wonders. And for the rest of our lives, it will be our joy to remember to treasure them. Once again, I feel like a kid in a candy store. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about the festival this year. And when I first saw the program and the incredible offerings that Spoleto has to offer this year, and, and notably, Porgy and Bess, the iconic story of Charleston and America's great opera. Um, I'm, I'm just so excited. And if you didn't get your tickets, as Ed mentioned, this Monday night at 7.30, live simulcast in Marion Square, and west of the Ashley, a simulcast 7.30, Tuesday night at West Ashley High School. Poor DMS, it's terrific. And so, Maestro, once again, let the music begin. Let the dancers dance beyond the brilliance of the song. Let the players play beyond the beauty of the stage. And let the singers sing beyond the genius of the sea. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Let the 40th Annual Spoleto Festival begin. <laughs> Thank you.